So it's very likely that you have a strong misconception about this particular topic, and I've fielded my fair share of questions on it in the past to be sure. Frankly, I think the best way of avoiding having to repeat myself and, incidentally, getting angry about it all over again is to just say it here in a video. So let's get started about how you're wrong about everything. Carl. First, Carl, I want to congratulate you on your third divorce. A lot of people will tell you about how marriage is a prison or how it's a bad choice, but then they find a loving relationship that lasts for a while and they prove themselves wrong. But you have done your level best to prove to the world that no matter what some people do, they will never find lasting happiness. And I honestly think that's admirable. And it makes me feel good inside to know that a person like you, because I know you, Carl, is never going to find love. Honestly, less admirable was when I found out that the judge at your latest divorce hearing had decided to get a restraining order of her own just so she wouldn't have to see you again. I mean, maybe you need to examine yourself somewhat closely to understand why the people who care about you for any period of time eventually learn to stop. Also, I found this weird, but I was talking to one of your ex-wives and despite being married to three different people, she told me that you've only managed to have sex the one time in your life, and it wasn't even with your wife. How you manage that achievement is mind-boggling, mainly in the fact that anyone would have had sex with you in the first place. But I think it says something about your personality that wasn't with any of your wives. Anyway, have a look at this chart. I've talked to many people in your life, and the y-axis is going to show how long people have known you, while the x-axis is going to show how little people like you. As you can see, it grows and go fuck yourself, Carl. And honestly, the ability to attract three different women is pretty baffling, given your lack of a job, your prospects, or even your living situation. I mean, Lord knows, I'm not going to shame your living situation, given that your ex-mother-in-law just served you with an eviction notice, though so while you were living with her, I don't know. Just... Think about getting your life together, Carl. Also, I saw you on the beach a few years back, and I didn't say it then, and I should've, and that's on me, but you were wearing Crocs, which is fine, I guess. Uh, it makes me want to roll my eyes, but you were wearing socks with them, on the beach. Now, Crocs with socks is itself fucking weird, but on the beach? And, and then you went swimming in them. Like, maybe you don't know how shoes or socks work? I don't know. Even the seals out in the ocean were making loud noises at you. Like, when members of the animal kingdom are voicing their displeasure with your wardrobe, perhaps you need to reconsider your life choices. And, as I talked to your ex-wives, I learned this, and I want to make this observation. If you're an asshole to the service industry, but nice to the people you want to get stuff from, you're just an asshole. Now, that's at the very core of your problems. If you were less of an entitled creep, I'd almost feel bad about this whole thing, but thankfully, you are genuinely a terrible person, so I don't have to pull any punches. Do the world a favor. Learn a little civility, learn a few manners, and finally, learn to shut the fuck up once in a while. No one cares what you think about crisis actors or birther shit. Just shut the fuck up, Carl. Anyway... That's it. Hope you didn't enjoy it, Carl, and definitely don't subscribe because I don't need you on my channel. Also, don't head over to my Patreon like these folk did or pledge at any level, Carl. I don't have to be forced to talk to you about your writing, but thanks for watching, I guess.